Hello, this is Justin Matlack from StellarMate. In this tutorial, we'll be talking about framing your targets. To frame your targets, you must be in the targets module. And then here from the list, you need to go and solve a specific target first. Let's take the Triffid Nebula, for example. Click and go and solve. You'll see the border of the row turning to magenta, which indicates that the mount is now in progress, going to the target. Let's just wait for the mount to arrive at the target. And then after that, it will start the plate solving process. You can see the border turning to yellow, which indicates plate solving is in progress. Plate solving is successful and you can see the orientation of the field of view indicator. Here we see the framing assistant view. You see the blue square with the orange top. So the orange top indicates actually the, the top of the camera. So this is the top part of your camera. And the blue indicator or the blue uh, FOV is the one you can control by simply dragging it around or by using uh, rotation controls, rotation gestures. Uh, you can also adjust it using the slider here for more finer control. So let's just uh, take it a little bit around here. And there you can see also the changes in retrocession and declination as you move it around. You can also uh, zoom out and in to get a better uh, indication for the field of view. And once you're happy with your framing, then you can click go to and rotate. So, so the go to part is pretty straightforward. It will just command the mount to the new center of the blue rectangle. Remember that the, the green rectangle or the green FOV is what your camera and mount currently are looking at since we just sold. So this is what, what we're currently looking at. On the other hand, the blue one is the target. If we leave the framing assistant in manual mode regarding the rotation, um, then it will just tell you the angular offset. Now we see it as negative 13. And then you need to go and adjust your camera manually and click again, go to and rotate until this value becomes zero. On the other hand, if you happen to have an automatic rotator, for example, like Nightcrawler, then you can simply click automatic. Then now let's click go and rotate. Again, magenta indicates that the mount is going to target. Now it's plate solving. And there we go, it rotated and it plate solved. And uh, we have now the new frame at this exact location, which is our desired target. And so that's pretty much it. That's a very quick way to target your um, or frame your targets. After that, you can simply go to Ecos and start your capture process. Hope this was useful. Clear skies.